Hey there my friends, Mike with Articulate here and in this video I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks to decrease your development time in Storyline 2. In fact, by the time you're done, you'll be able to create a simple tabs interaction like the one that you see here in under three minutes. So let's move over to Storyline 2 and get started. I'm here in Storyline 2 and I have my slide ready to go. I also have an image off to the right, which I'm going to use to share with you a cool new feature in Storyline 2. That'll be coming up momentarily. But the first thing that we need to do in our tabs interaction is to add the tabs to the slide that the learner is going to click on to show us those images. I want four tabs to show four images. Now, just about anything can serve as a tab. Pictures, shapes, captions, etc. Let's say we use a rectangle like this. This would certainly work. But check this out. I'm also going to go and insert a built-in button. And I want you to look at the difference. Now, they're roughly the same shape. They look the same. But if I come down to the states tab, the rectangle, well, there's no built-in states. It's just the normal state ready to go. The button, however, comes ready to go with hover, down, visited, and disabled states. So time-saving tip number one to quickly build a tabs interaction. If you can, use the built-in buttons because this is going to be a huge time saver for you versus with the rectangle needing to build all those states out, the button's got them ready to go. That's going to save you precious time. Now, so I have my button here. Time-saving tip number two is to get comfortable using your keyboard shortcut keys. I need four tabs. I only have one. I need to copy and paste this or duplicate this so I have a total of four. Now, in the past, I would have right-clicked, copied, and pasted. Now, I'm relatively quick with the mouse, and so I could probably do that pretty quickly. However, a much quicker technique is to use Control-D on your keyboard. That's the duplicate command. All I have to do with that item selected is Control-D one, two, three times, and just that quickly, I have my items. Super fast. So. Tip number two, get used to using your shortcut keys. Time-saving tip number three is to use your align tools. Now, I want these four items to be stacked on top of one another, aligned perfectly, vertically, horizontally, to look beautiful, all right? So I'm going to do is I'm going to take this last one that I created, move it down here, roughly the distance of four buttons. And now I'm going to select all of these items. I'm, I can either draw a box around them to select them, or I could use another keyboard shortcut, Control-A, to select them. With all of my items selected, I'm going to go to the Arrange icon here, and I'm going to Align Left. Look at that. Arrange, Align, and Distribute Vertically. Perfect. Look at that. They are perfectly aligned top to bottom, left to right. Beautiful. So, shortcut number three, use your Align tools. Shortcut tip number four, label your assets. What I mean by that is give them a name either here in the timeline or in this case with the tabs interaction to save some time. We're going to say one and two and three and four. We want to be able to quickly identify any assets that we add, whether it's an object, whether it's a layer. We want to give it a name so that we can quickly identify it when we're creating our triggers later on in the process. That is a big time saving tip. Label your assets. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a little while. All right. Time-saving tip number five. The boss has given you this picture, and this is the cool new tool that we have in Storyline 2. And the boss has said, hey, use the colors in here for this tab's interaction. So to do so, what we're going to do is select this first object. I'm going to go to the Shape Fill area, and I'm going to select the Eyedropper tool. This is new. This allows me to hover over an image and select a color. You'll notice it also gives me a cool RGB code. Uh, let's choose the color of this cloud. We'll select that. You'll notice the color is applied over here. Shape outline, we'll say no outline. And maybe what we want to do is we want to give the hover effect an outline. So we go to our states tab. And once again, since this is already created for me, I don't need to create the hover state. I can simply edit states, select hover, and we go to shape outline. Maybe it's going to be a nice thick outline and the color is going to be white. Look at that. Perfect. Now, time saving tip number six is to use the Format Painter. I could go through this same process that I just did using the eyedropper tool and everything for these other buttons, but a much quicker technique is to go to the Home tab, double click Format Painter, and this is going to allow me to paint or copy and paste the attributes, the formatting from this button 
to the others. Look at that. Super fast, super simple, easy to do. So time-saving tip number six, use that format painter. Time-saving tip number seven is coming right up. But first, we're going to need our layers. We need one, two, three, four layers to share the images when the user clicks these buttons. So I'm going to select one, two, three, four. And I'm going to give them names as well. I'm going to double click on the name, type one, two, and three, and four. Look at that lightning fast, super smooth and silky is the interface of Storyline 2. So I'm going to insert an image. So I'm going to insert one of the images that I want to appear. I'll put that on the first layer. And I'll get that all sized and ready to go where I want it to be in my interaction. And I'm only going to do this once because I'm going to use time-saving tip number seven, which is the change picture tool. I'm going to copy this image and using control V, another keyboard shortcut, I'm going to paste that image onto each of the other slide layers. From here, I can right click and use change picture. Now, time-saving tip number eight is organizing all of your assets for your project. Since I added an image from this folder, Storyline is going to take me right back to it. So if my other images are here as well, so I've got this all staged and ready, then I can quickly select a new image and it's going to replace it. It's going to change it out for me. Look at that. Change picture. I'll select the next one. I'm just going to double click. Change picture. We come in, double click the next one, and now they're all changed out for me. Perfect. Now, coming back to my base layer, I need to set up my triggers. Now, this is what we were talking about before. Since I've labeled my buttons and my layers, watch how easy this is. Button number one, let's add a trigger. Show layer, look at that, layer number one. Button number two, show layer number two. Button three, show layer, whoops, show layer three. And button four, show layer four. Look how fast that is. Perfect. Now. We had a little animation effect here on the layers, and we're going to add that using slide transitions. So I could go into each of these layers and add an animation to the objects, but right from here, I can simply select the slide layer and add a transition, which is going to animate the entire layer in. So there's another time-saving tip to get a great look and feel for your interaction. Back here on the base layer, maybe I want to use a couple of other time-saving tips like layouts. I want a title, so I'm simply going to go to my layout, select the title, Type that in, click the images, no, click the tabs to, I can't type today, to show images. My brain's not working. I left justify that. Once again, just like we can with the buttons, what I can do here is I can come in and use the eyedropper tool for the text as well. We'll choose that. Ooh, that's a little bright. <gasps> eyedropper tool, maybe we'll go with that. There we go, that's better. And maybe, hey, one last little design flourish. We add a rectangle in here. Look at that, maybe we move that up a little bit. And once again, we go to our format tab. We'll go for shape fill and no outline. And look at that, boom, super fast. Let's preview this and see what we've got. Now it's about eight minutes of explanation that I just went through here. But the reality is that you'll have the ability to, once you get this down, Create what I just created in under three minutes using those shortcuts. My personal best, I gotta tell you, to create what we just created here, my personal best is about two and a half minutes. But I am getting faster every day that I practice, and that's my final tip to you, is to practice. The more you do this, the faster you're going to get. I'm looking forward to how quickly you can recreate what I just did. So practice your heart out, get speedy, and then in the comment section below, let us know how quickly you have created something similar. If you want to give us an example, give us a walkthrough, show us the magic that you created, please go ahead and do so. I'm looking forward to how quick. My guess is that I keep practicing, you keep practicing. We're going to break the two-minute barrier because Storyline 2 is just that fast to create with. It's really dynamite. All right, with that, if you have any questions about creating tabs interactions, about shortcuts on Storyline 2, please join us in the eLearning Heroes community. If you're not already there, we are at eLearningHeroes.com, and we are going to be there to help you out with tips, tricks, best practices to make you an awesome eLearning designer. All right, take care, everybody.